What's going on, guys? So we're going to get real today, tonight, actually. It's uh, 1 a.m. And enough is enough. Enough of the um, crying, complaining, victimhood that you guys have been seeing. It's all or nothing, okay? Tomorrow's my birthday, okay? I have to grind. Or actually, today is my birthday because I'm posting this bright and early in the morning. Uh, this is a little motivation, you guys. We got to get this money coming in we'll get the flow going in because we gotta get ready for wilmington now what i mean by that is tomorrow i'm going to get up at 7 a.m no playing games no sleeping in 7 a.m i'm gonna get out the house by 8 a.m okay i'm gonna get the grind going i'm gonna go from 8 to about 5 p.m tomorrow and then i'm gonna come back here i gotta straighten up a little bit and then i have dinner okay dinner for my birthday I'm being treated dinner for my birthday, even though I didn't want to go because I don't want nobody to spend on me, but can't stop them. Got to gotta do what I got to do. So we're going out to birthday dinner, okay? And then after that, we are going to sleep. And then the next day, we're going to wake up at 7 and get out the house by 8. Guys, this is going to be a routine that I'm going to engage in. And I'm going to add in working out to get this body back to peak performance and look, I'm not happy with how I allowed myself to lapse. Now, guys, um, I've sat here and it took me about two hours. You know, and I edited this video that's going to be dropped in about a couple hours in reference to Roy. A two-hour spat that I had between Roy, always cherry-picking all these people that literally are just harbiters of drama. And it made me realize that why am I dealing with these people that don't matter in my life? They don't put money in my pocket. I'm dealing with them because I don't have content. Because once again, I went away from what made my channel great. Which is you seeing me do great things, motivate you to do better things. And that's what we're going to have. So I sat here for two hours after I edited the video. I wrote it in this notebook now until September 1st. Every single day, projected earnings with DoorDash, projected earnings with the basketball tournament, projected earnings with everything else that I got going on. And it starts simply with the next week. My goal is to hit $100 every day with DoorDash and Grubhub. I know I say this all the time, but you guys are going to absolutely see my numbers the end of each week. So I'm going to do the payout is going to go into my bank account and I'm going to show you guys both apps every Monday, okay? I'm gonna do that to hold myself accountable. Now, if I don't do that, then once again, cook me in the chat. Cook me in the comments next week. But we're gonna do that because I'm gonna stay straight. I'm not doing nothing but what's on this little tablet here, which is every day. And the goal is to, within two weeks, 14 days, to become Top Dasher. I want y'all to understand, last week was nasty. I was active for like 23 hours, but my dash time was like seven hours. It's tough. You got to be a top dash dasher in this market to make money. Because you got to be able to just drive all the way around the city and the different cities, you know, Hollywood, downtown LA, all over. And you got to be able to dash. And once I become top dasher, I'll be making 25 to 30 an hour. Because it's going to be nonstop deliveries. Because I'll get large order program and I get priority deliveries. Okay. I'll be on the schedule. And when you're on the schedule, you get priority um, orders. So with that said, guys. We have goals now. We have a mission. Because the ultimate is mission is to achieve $10,000 by July 17th. Then take that $10,000 while in Vegas to twenty, potentially $30,000. Okay? And then after that, taking that money to move back to Wilmington, North Carolina from Los Angeles to set up shop with my son. I'll be there for five years. He graduates in five years from high school, and I'm going to train him with basketball. His passion, his goal, his dream is to play college basketball, but he is aware that you don't just go to play college basketball. It's about getting an education, hopefully a business degree with that money that you should be able to make with NIL deals and et cetera that these kids are making. But when it comes down to it, I want to have a good time. I want to get a degree. So if he chooses to have me move with him to whatever city, he decides to go play basketball in because he's going to go college basketball. Um, we're not talking NBA. We're talking to college basketball. Then I'll go move with him to that city because I'll look to get a coaching job with whatever college. 
that he decides to go play at. If not, then I'll just be a super dad and I'll just make it happen. But that's the goal. That's what we got planned. Five years planned. So we got the next three months is a straight grind with DoorDash. And then we move back to Wilmington September 1st. And then we're going to be grinding DoorDash part-time. We might go get a part-time job. But the whole goal would be to stay under $2,300 in bills every month while saving every month. So that way in five years, I have $100,000 set to the side. That way, wherever city he decides to play college basketball and he wants me to come with him, I can go with him. Or if he decides he wants to go on his own and be his own man, then I'll go and move to Las Vegas and get a house and live my life because I'll have something to fall back on as in career at that point. So this is a five-year plan, guys. Um, my my head is in the game. and ain't no more plan around. Uh, I'm, I want you guys to hold me accountable. You know, you're going to see me every morning. I'm waking up 7 a.m. Um, I'm going to get out the house by 8. And then eventually it's going to be 6 a.m. Get out the house by 8 because I'm going to go work out for an hour every day. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to document it in a video. What I'm going to do is when I leave the house, I'm going to start recording my whole process the time I leave, what I, what I, where I go to start delivering at. I'm documenting the whole process. And shout out to OG, original thought. He came up with the idea, the regular guy. So we're going to call this the regular regular guy story. Okay? Right now it's the regular guy story. And it's going to be chapter one, which is exit from L.A. Or dashing my way out of L.A. And what that means is to dash my way out of L.A., I need to make 10000 by the 17th of next month, okay? Now, I know that's going to be tough, guys. It's going to be tough, okay? Realistically, on paper, I have $5,000, but that doesn't include the YouTube revenue. That doesn't include the other sources of money that I potentially can have coming in. But at the least, it's $5,000, but the goal is $10,000 by the 17th. And then my son is coming down on the 15th of July, okay? And he's staying until August 15th. I'm going to go look I'm going to go down and pick them up. The 14th, I'm going to get to Wilmington. I'm going to look for my place, like the places I see. I'm going to look and figure out which place I want to move to. Then on the 15th, I'm going to grab him. We're going to come back to L.A. Then when I drop him back to Wilmington on the 15th of August, I'm going to go to whichever place that I decide I want and put down the deposit first month, and all, et cetera, to move into that place. And then I'll be moving September 1st to that place. I'll be putting all my furniture and everything I got here in a um, box or whatever you want to call it. Those bins that, um, you know, you can get delivered. You put everything in and they ship it to whatever city you're going to. I'm going to put the motorcycle, everything in that. And then get it in Wilmington. And yes, yeah, five-year plan. It's all about, you know, the girl for my son. And I'm just going to be stacking. I'm going to stay under the radar. I'm going to chill. But guys, this is going to be a story. I'm documenting the process. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably, as I see in the chat, I'm mad that I'm not going to be doing lives all like that. Guys, I got to focus because when I'm doing delivery, I got to do one or the other. I can't do lives all day because of the fact I don't have an assistant or somebody to work with me that can clip moments. And it's hard for me when I got an eight hour video live to like clip moments that I can then clip out and make separate segments. It's just hard to do that for me, at least. So once I get somebody that can you know, I can send timestamps, they can clip it for me, and then I can just post. Until that point, we're going to just rock with me doing these these ride-alongs, whatever you want to call it, day in the life. I'll be dropping the day of the next day. So if it's a Monday, that will be dropping on Tuesday at like noon. And whenever I go live, it's going to be while I'm not working. When I'm off the app, there's no deliveries. I'll go on live for like a half an hour, hour spurts. But then once I'm I get that first order, I'm back to filming, so I'm going to go off live, and I'm back to filming the um, segment. That's where we're at. Now, last thing I'm going to say, if any of you guys want to do lives with me, talking about topics, etc., and you are going to be at your house, in front of your camera, on a tripod, just reach out to my email, Discord, or text my phone number if you got the number, and I'm completely happy doing a live with you, and it's going to be fun. Otherwise, I'm not doing no more of those pop-up lives. It's going to take too much energy. And I see all these other people that blew up off of just doing ride-along videos of their life, getting out of debt, you know, doing nine to 10,000 uh, views a video. Why am I doing all this work 
for freaking 50 cent an hour when I can just do ride along video and put it all together and edit it and make it fun and put that out and it's going to get more views and I'm going to actually get paid for every view on that video. So that's where we're at. So with that said, guys, we got two videos going up today. We got this video. You got the video from Roy, which was interesting. Two hours of my life being called a homo and all these crazy things and him trying to play victim. He got bullied and then he decided to um, come at me and make try to make me look stupid. If you want to watch that video, okay, hit the notification button on that video. It's going up in two hours from now. But with that said, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish me luck. Um, any well wishes, put them in the comments below. I will respond. That's all, guys. Hit the like button, guys, if you like the video. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike button. Let me know so I know I got to do better videos. With that said, I'm out. Peace.